two angles are said to be allied angle if their sum or difference is either zero or multiple of 90 degree so we will be seeing different trigonometrical ratios value for minus theta 90 degree plus minus theta 180 degree plus minus theta like this see firstly i am dealing with minus theta if i take a point p whose coordinates are x comma y and op is making an angle theta with the positive direction of x axis so this will be x this will be y when we are just revolving it in the clockwise direction to make it minus theta see here minus theta so this point is going to be x comma minus y what is this this is x this is minus y so now if i have to find sine minus theta we know the basic definition of sine which is always perpendicular by hypotenuse what will be that you see here from this figure this is perpendicular is minus y by if hypotenuse is r it will be r okay so actually sine theta here in the first quadrant was y by r so what we are seeing that sine minus theta is minus y by r so what is that minus of sine theta just remember this result sine minus theta is equal to minus of sine theta similarly if you go for finding cos minus theta you see here cos minus theta here in this figure if i'm taking this as m figure triangle o m n cos minus theta is based by hypotenuse that is x y r and originally cos theta in the first quadrant was x y r based by hypotenuse so cos minus theta is just equal to cos theta same way we can find tan minus theta tan minus theta will be minus tan theta okay so you remember that sine whichever trigonometrical ratio is involving sine that will be minus sine theta will be minus sine theta that is also known as odd function okay and the cos is known as even function just to remember so the minus sign is very much clear now we will see 90 minus theta and 90 plus theta see if a point is in such a way that it is making an angle theta with the positive direction of x axis and we are just revolving this arc and bringing this point p to point p dash where the angle is if we make this theta this is 90 minus theta if the point this is x comma y you know the coordinate of this point will be this angle is going to be 90 minus theta this angle is 90 minus just follow the congruency if this is theta dash this is going to be theta here and this is theta dash that means this point is playing the role y comma x yes so if i have to find sine 90 minus theta what will be that that will be you see here x by r so in the original triangle cos theta was x by r based by hypotenuse so sine 90 degree minus theta is going to be cos theta 
you can just prove these two triangles to be congruent very easily that's not a problem see how this two uh, o, op and op dash are equal this angle is theta so this angle will be theta this angle is 90 minus theta so this angle is 90 minus theta so you apply cpct you will get the same thing same way cos 90 minus theta is equal to y by r because here the base is y in this triangle base is y and we know cos theta is always base by hypotenuse which is actually sin theta same way you just remember 90 minus theta and you might be knowing all these things in your tan standard as well so we will see 90 plus theta how it is happening just take point is here p point is here make an angle theta it is revolve by 90 degree and the point is coming to p dash this is an arc same thing so this is this angle this complete angle is 90 plus theta okay so here we are moving so just you follow the congruency of the two triangles you will prove these two triangles should to be congruent this is theta this will be theta this is 90 minus theta this is 90 minus theta this is 90 degree 90 degree and the two things are r are equal so if i have to find sine 90 plus theta theta see if the point is x comma y here what it is going to be minus y y comma minus x because x is going to be negative here so 90 plus theta it's minus is here okay x coordinate is minus so 90 plus theta is you see x by r which is actually equal to cos theta cos 90 degree plus theta is equal to minus y by r which is equal to minus sin theta same way you can just find 90 plus theta uh, tan 90 plus theta and so on and same way if you follow this method you can find 180 plus theta 180 minus theta now i'm just giving you the direct rules how to remember the things first thing you remember in the basic rule i give it add sugar to coffee name this first quadrant is here 0 to 90 90 to 180 180 to 270 and 270 to 360 degree is the fourth quadrant in first quadrant all trigonometrical ratios are positive in second sine and its counterpart cosec is positive others are negative here tan and its counterpart cot is positive and other negative in the fourth quadrant cos and sec is positive and other trigonometrical ratios negative so first rule is clear in which quadrant which trigonometrical ratio is positive or negative if uh, i'm saying you what is the value of sine 170 degree you see 170 degree is in the second quadrant so in second quadrant sine has to be positive so it will get some positive value suppose i have to find cos 98 degree which quadrant it is lying it is lying 98 is in the second quadrant and in second quadrant only sine is positive so cos has to be negative hope so the sign system is clear next thing i will see that in the case of 90 degree plus theta plus minus theta 270 degree plus minus theta trigonometrical ratio changes to its complementary that means if i have to find sine 
90 plus theta the trigonometrical ratio sine will change to its complementary that is cos theta so in the case of 90 and 270 the trigonometrical ratio will change but in the case of 180 degree or 360 degree no change that means if i am saying you sine 180 degree minus theta what is that it will remain sine it will be sine theta same way cos 180 plus theta cos 180 minus theta we can easily find out but very important rule you have to remember that what will be the sign prefix to a trigonometrical ratio when we are moving to some another quadrant suppose i am writing sign 200 degree that means sign 180 degree plus 30 degree so what it is coming out to be it is just sign 30 degree because in the case of 180 and 360 no change is there so sign will remain sign but one important rule i am mentioning here that what is the sign positive or negative here in front of that sign 30 degree that will be decided by the location of the angle of the parent function original function what is original function here sine what is the angle 210 degree 210 degree means third quadrant and in third quadrant sine has to be negative so we have to put negative sign here suppose i have to find tan 135 degree what i will write i will write tan 90 degree plus 45 degree we know that in the case of 90 trigonometrical ratio changes so it will be definitely cot 45 degree now we have to put the sign here so we see the original function original is i have seen people making mistake here so be careful for this rule uh, original is 135 degree which is lying in the second quadrant and second quadrant is the house of sine only so tan has to be negative so it will be negative minus cos 45 degree so this is minus 1 so this rule is 90 plus minus theta 180 plus minus theta is very much clear to you and uh, moreover we just got the negative sine rule that is sine minus theta is minus sine theta like that hope you are understanding